Okay, so I've got my OK Cub 049 engine here. And those of you that saw me run this thing for the first time on video uh, saw a short run. And it turns out that this tank is rather translucent. And if you hold it up to the light, you can kind of see through it and see the fuel level and that kind of thing. Well, it turns out I've been in communication with Ted from OK Cubs. And it turns out this engine was initially sold on a Comet ready to fly airplane apparently it was mounted sideways because when I was looking at the tank through the light and I'll put a picture up this fuel line right here actually is just a straight line that goes right to the near the back of this tank meaning that it was in this position so that that was the end or that was the bottom of the tank well obviously when I ran it I only ran it down to that level and then it stopped because I didn't realize that this was sold in a side mounted orientation. So what I'm going to do is, seeing as I've had contact with this fellow and parts are still available, I'm going to take this tank off and check out the internals and potentially either bend that or add a little piece of fuel line so that it goes down vertically but I'm not going to just have it sitting there sideways like that. Okay, so there's what I'm talking about. That's just going straight. So what I can do is I can, that feels pretty stout. What I can do is either just cut that off a little bit and then just put a piece of fuel line going down on it or something similar. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But I mean, that's basically all there is to this thing. I don't even see a gasket. I did defuel this thing and take all the fuel out because when I noticed that there was actually fuel still in it, I went ahead and took the fuel out. So, looks like it's pretty much just a simple deal there. And this basically goes all the way to the back. So, one thing I may end up doing is just get the Dremel with a cutoff wheel and just cut this in half. That way I can put a piece of tubing on there with a little plunk on it. Because I don't really feel like I want to just bend that. That seems like a pretty stout. It actually feels like steel as opposed to uh, aluminum. And it doesn't feel like it wants to come out. So I'm probably going <clears> to <throat> play with maybe just cutting that off. And making it so that we have a clunk that goes all the way down to the bottom. But uh, huh, that was a quick look inside. A look inside a fuel tank. Because that's really all I'm going to do to this thing. I don't think I'm going to disassemble this engine any further. There's really no need. Okay, so <clears throat> I did it. Here's the section of that tube that I cut off. That's how small it is. Here's the new fuel tube with a clunk from the Dragonfly Cox engine. So what this is going to do now is when I put this on here, it's effectively going to bend this into this position where the clunk is always at the bottom. And since I'm not planning on putting this in an airplane, I don't really care. Any time from now on that I run it, it's going to be on a stand. So having the, the clunk at the bottom is fine. And even if I don't want to use the clunk, I can just as easily put a piece of fuel tubing on there and just have it do the same thing. Have it long enough so that the back of this tank bends it down so that it's at the bottom. And there you go. So now the question is, when I put these screws back in the tank, the other two are still in there. Is it still going to seal? Well, I don't know. We'll find out on the next run. Okay, I want to show you one thing here. On the very bottom of this casting, I don't know if my camera is going to focus in good enough on it or not. There's some stuff printed. Like here it says, OK Cub, I believe is what that says. What it says here is, it may be hard to read, it says 049A. OK Cub, and then here is a serial number. I don't know if you're going to be able to read it. 217-9623, and right here in the crack, or in the crevice there, USA. So another little interesting bit of information on this OK Cub 049A engine.